Ontario, Canada has got to be the most populous province in the entire nation. And, and right now the inmates are running the asylum. I got to tell you, it's a wild place over the last several years. Left wing people, it's just incredible with what's going on there. And we just wanted to share a couple of things with you with regard now to a potential change, a change up in the leadership, which is coming up in June of 2018. And that's an election. And the Conservative Party appears to finally have a leader, Doug Ford, who has some conservative values, right? So it's looking very promising. <clears throat> and you can probably dump all the left wing people that uh, that are trying again to you know continue to run the province. Ontario owes more money than almost any regional government in the entire world. This verbiage here says a debt is at 311, I think it's trillion. There's so many zeros I can't even pronounce and it's going up. According to the Ontario Financing Authority, the province owes so much money that it's equal to less, or just slightly less than $25,000 per person. So if you have five kids and a wife and do that math, and that's not very nice, right? And every government promises to reduce that, but they also promise in the same breath to increase the debt. So how does that work? It's not even possible, right? I, I mean, and they go on and on just being themselves, whereas Mr. Ford, I think, has some real solutions. But, but the math isn't correct. It is said that that dollar figure, the just slightly less than $25,000, is closer to double that. They have more debt than California, and California is an absolute mess, right? And, and they have more debt than California, I believe twice as much debt, and a third of the people. <clears throat> Not very good. Ontario's liberal government, who's running the province now? wants to get reelected, so now they're opening up their basket of goodies, okay? They're saying, we're going to give free child care, full day child care. Okay, really? Starting at two and a half years old. Well, there's two schools of thought there. One, they want to brainwash it and raise your children when I say brainwash it, because we don't even know if it's a gender-based society anywhere, what gender it is. They're also saying, don't call anybody female, don't call them male. How about it? And, and we want to raise it from two and a half years up, and we're going to make it free. Don't you like free? And, you know, this poll business, polls are for strippers and dogs, I mean, but the polls do say that Doug Ford will win, kind of, sort of, maybe depends on which newspaper that you read, so we can only hope and they also want a guaranteed income for everybody so they don't have to work and they have a test program or a pilot program ongoing as we speak in Ontario. Where does this money come from? They have no money. They get it from Alberta. I've always said with these equalization payments in Canada that if you give money to help another person, another government, there's nothing wrong with that if you have the money and they need the money. However, if it's your money, you should have the right to say, what are you going to do with my money? And if you don't approve of the use, then of course you shouldn't be allowed, to, you shouldn't have to give it to them. If you want to borrow 10 bucks from me and you're going to go give it to a guy I don't like or go buy a bottle of whiskey and get smashed for the afternoon, can you do that for 10 bucks? Hey, I don't want to give it to you, right? And it should be my right, 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 right to do that. You know, the average price of auto insurance in Ontario now is increasing too because of course you don't have a choice. That's what socialism is all about, taking your choice away. And the Ontario government owns that. They own the liquor. They own the pot places now. I mean, they want to own everything. They think that the people don't have a mind and of course that's where Canada came from. It's Ontario. It was the machine. It was the engine. Give it back. The free market works. Let it be free. I, it doesn't make any sense. And now she's saying, ooh, she being her last name is win. And you know what? Uh, she doesn't win much. She loses. I mean, what a funny thing. Loser kind of comes to mind. Anyway, she said, elect me again and I'll give you free pharmacare. Free pharmacare? Nothing's free, firstly. Nothing. Okay. Ontario's local government also is promising $2.1 billion in free mental health funding, in addition to what's already on the books, which is another four or five billion dollars. Mental health, save the money and go look in the mirror, right? I mean, because there's a, obviously a mental disconnect with all these people. I remember the first time I got something free. My wife and I and our kids, we had all these free points to go to Hawaii. So we used the free points, right? And I had no money and I was young and little kids. When I came home, the credit cards were jammed up with $5,000 so I could go and have a something free. It's like your wife coming home saying, I saved you five grand today. How did you do that? There was a mink coat on sale. It used to be 10 grand. Today was on sale for five. So I bought it and I saved five. I I mean, that's how those people think. Y'all come back here tomorrow. We've got more for you from the right. See ya.